to discover this wonderful tool. So MetaPress, it's a meta search engine to request things across the press, the online press. Um, I am uh, myself a web artisan working in this area, making websites or making uh, internal infrastructures for big structures with web access uh, since more than 15 years. I'm currently CEO at a small free software company we made with friends from the april.org association, um, which is a, a kind of the French wing of the FSF, uh, and I'm also involved in the Fund, Fund for Defense of the Net Neutrality, uh, which I came through the La Quadrature du Net, LQDN, uh, and well, I spent my whole life uh, being a militant, uh, an, an active user, and an active member of uh, free software advocacy associations. And in fact, working for La Quadrature du Net, uh, I started making the press review of this big association. And it was a lot of work uh, because they were fighting against the government, against a law called Adopi which was uh, a try to have the internet connection of regular people cut if they were fund by a private enterprise as downloading and sharing music through the internet. And so we were explaining that cutting, in, cutting the internet was something not proportional. Uh, against the freedom of speech and the possibility for regular users to even just pay their taxes. And this has been heard. The Adopi is a complete win for us. And it, uh, it, it, it was 10 years ago, but uh, it will be finished absolutely in the coming weeks, I think. But it was a lot of noise in France. And every night after my work, I had to go through the newspapers and search engine and watch everywhere uh, our press community, press, press, press releases were uh, published. And it was something like 10 or 20 articles to find, to collect, to sort, and then to enter in our system for press review. Uh, copy pasting the title and the author and the date and the description and the link and it's already long to explain you the list but you had to do this again and again for each article it was taking hours and there were no tool to help me in this uh, in this task except maybe google news which was uh, winning the discovery part uh, but we, in, in f other combats, like on the, against the ACTA, for instance, or others, for freedom of speech, uh, we were telling a lot of uh, things we were thinking about Google, and it was not all nice. And we were u depending on Google to see which, um, which media did relay what to, uh, all the... Uh, uh, thought we had about the dominant position of Google, and so I felt in a consensus, um, a dissensus, cognitive dissensus, and I complained, uh, I started complaining on IRC and other channels to say there is no tool to do this, how we can find an alternative, something that would be free software, and after some years, 
some thought came back to me from my master of uh, uh, MBA. I have many diplomas, and and it was if there is something missing somewhere, it means that there is a space you can you could fill. And I started working on the tool. This is the best tool to handle the task I, uh, I was at at the moment. So it presents like this. It's just a search engine. You put your search terms. You hit the little button at the end of the input. And it will start searching for results. Uh, the thing is quite simple, a meta search engine, it's a search engine that relay, relies on all the search engines to do the task. And so when you hit the button, um, the tool, which is running only inside your web browser, will be hitting something like 500 newspapers, their own search engine feature, their internal search engine feature and the newspapers will uh, provide some results. We have some results about the, your query, and we fetch this. We put all of this in your, uh, in your page, and we sort this. Your computer sort this in chronological order. And as surprising as it could be, uh, it's enough to achieve comparable results with Google News, nothing more. No need for big computers, no need for data centers in the Arctic polar circle, uh, and no need for more equipment on the internet. Your own phone is already powerful enough to handle the task. So I said all, all of this. I'm sorry, finally it's quite small on screen, but I can do this. Um, so there are some use cases, because I described in the length uh, the use case I had, but there are some, or some others. You heard about the MCH 2022, you don't know what it is. You, can, you might want to search through the press to hear about who could have speak about, and this tool will be faster than you. Um, it works great for uh, what we call in French the burning subjects, something that is um, drawing a lot of attention. Um, the press review you knew, but also uh, the first contribution I had to this project when I put it in to put it it online, to put it online, um, in the late uh, 2019, was a scientific guy that asked me if my tool could have been used for something else than what I was advertising, and his problem was to search through the um, online scientific editors uh, because there are 10, 15 of them, and he said, I have to check uh, many, of the, um, many of them in a row, and there is no one place to check them all. Uh, so I was very happy because it's the demonstration of what a free software is. I worked years to make something for a specific purpose, and the first guy who wants to use it say, can I do something else with this, please? And I said, sure. Tell me what the sources are. I can add them to the lot, to the lot, and just I had a tag on them. You will see there is a, a wonderful way to sort the sources by tags. And I had scientific press, and you're ready. No other, cha no change in the code. Only JSON configuration. Um, and another, another thing I. I hacked myself my own tools, <laughs> and um, I knew about the Demosphere network of agendas, online, on, on, online um, participative agendas for, for demonstrations for, for, for protesters, and there are 30 instances of this uh, software and there is no way to search in all at a time. So during nights, I added the 13 instances very fast. 
And I could have said, hey, there is now a way to search through all the instances in one click. Uh, it's easy because results of an online agenda are um, the meaning of the, these results is explained by the date, the date. Like for the news in the newspaper, what we call news, uh, the important thing is that it's new. So chronological order um, has a lot of meaning. Everything that can be sorted in a chronological order uh, and still be meaningful could be added to the, the tool. So, uh, in fact, already in day one, uh, three years ago, the tool can discover millions of results. Uh, it means that fetching the 10 last results of each sources, we also get the revendication of the source about how many results it has. And the millions are here. Uh, if you search for China in the big American newspapers, you will have lots of uh, advertised results. And within seconds, uh, we'll try a demo, because uh, we only have one life. And uh, I show in the tool the first result uh, as soon as they arrive, so you don't have the feeling you're waiting for. And when I started this project, I said, should I call it MetaPress? It's a meta search engine. Everyone will run away because the meta search engine, it pops up in my head. Um, the image of Neo when he wakes up with his keyboard just printed in, these, in his face because he is using, in this movie, uh, in Matrix, he is using a meta search engine and it's taking all night long to fetch results. It's not the case. 20 seconds and you're done with this tool, you'll see. <laughs> um, and the two of the main features are the fact that if you want to make a press review, for instance, uh, you will handle the same search again and again, and that's what I'm doing. I have four scheduled search. Four, in, four times in a day, uh, I have a um, tab that pops up in my web browser, searching for la quadrature du net. Uh, st I'm still working for this association. And it drew um, my attention um, with graphical things to say there are some new <coughs> articles, and there is an inside browser notification. <coughs> And then I can switch to the tool, activate uh, selection mode, select what I want uh, between the shown results, and export them in a reusable format. Uh, so you can schedule things when you want, and you can export things. One general principle I followed making this tool was to avoid being um, a separation, the software should not be a separation between you and the newspapers and the information you want. So everywhere in the tool you find links to go directly looking at the results in the source. Everything can be exported, re-imported. You should feel free. <clears throat> so MetaPress saves you a lot of time uh, because it makes the query for uh, a lot of newspapers uh, for you. It protects your private life. <clears throat> Using MetaPress, I hit the search engine of the newspaper, um, the newspapers you want to, to check, and I only download the HTML thing or the JSON part if it's an API, but I am not loading any side content. No CSS, no images, no JavaScript. So it turns out it was very easy. No third party, no trackers, no advertisement, just the, the minimum information. That's why it's fast. And it, ended, it ends up um, protecting you. Uh, but if you use it from a Tor browser, it's better. Uh, and it helps you avoid the swamp of third party trackers, and that's from NLNet copyright, this uh, great description of the tool. Um, one advantage is that 
it's uh, something you, the, the results will always come in the same order. And if you do twice the same search, even at uh, the opposite side of the Earth, you should get twice the same results. No Google bubble, no uh, mixing in the thing to try to find what you should, what, what you may want to see. It's just harsh truth. Free software. It's a lot uh, customizable, and that's why we start to become better than uh, Google News and other uh, GAFAM News, search engine. And it's a decentralized architecture. It's working from your computer, not my servers. I will get back to this. So it's customizable. Uh, that's the example. If you want to search in scientific press, you open this, uh, you, you, you click on this button to open up this uh, uh, part of the screen behind the input, and then you select um, the type of source you want. Press, uh, press, um, how it is called? Press of reference, reference press, because there is a list on Wikipedia about the best newspapers of the world. It's a, a game of uh, I like you, you like me, and we are the best. Uh, but scientific press, but also TVs, radios, agendas. Uh, easy. You want something new? Learn me something new to put here. I put um, a tag on it, and we're done. You can also select languages. I support 50 languages because I found uh, I found sources from uh, 50, I think 59 languages. But there is not a lot of each. There is a lot of French things because je suis français. And there is a lot of English things because uh, I hope you speak at least English. <laughs> um, you can also select sources by results type if you want text things. But if you want images, there are some sources with the tag images. Uh, image. Um, because uh, there are enough newspapers that have a special entry point for searching for image. Audio for the uh, radio uh, and video. There are some themes, but to be true for the moment, the main, stamp, the main, the main tag here is general. Yeah, there are some financials, some ecology, but not so much for the moment. And technical criterion. Uh, it's for if you want to search through HTTPS only, or through the fast newspapers only, or things like this. A fast newspaper answering generally below three seconds, and other it's slow, and slow it's more than this. I had to decide. Uh, there are some buttons just done this. <clears throat> so with this selection, you see that there are 55 um, scientific press sources, uh, because there are a lot of languages for a big French thing, but uh, expect may more than, uh, expect less than that, uh, 15, maybe 20. Uh, but still, it exists, it's usable, it, 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 it answers a need. Uh, there is Zero needed permission currently, but it's a button. And if you see something here, uh, like uh, five, ten, or something, it needs. It, it, it means that your web browser, you, you did not yet give the permission to your web browser to go through the iframes of these sources. It means that you won't get the results if you didn't get, give the permission. Permission are finally, finally uh, handled. You can give them just for the search, and I drop them at the end of the search, or you can keep them because you will schedule searches, and the permission should stay inside the web browser. Um, and you can drop them when you want from a button in the settings. Mm -hmm. These have been designed by, with the community. It was what I've been, I've been asking for. Uh, the first version was accepting everything, like uh, if it was uh, ad block. And people said, I don't see the need to give permission to explore my bank to uh, press things, and say, OK, I will ask just for what needed, just when needed. 
but uh, if you don't get this permission, I can't read the results for you. You can reset filters, you can show a source list, and it's the next slide, uh, because you also can choose your sources one by one and make your own selection. And this, we are far from Google News. With Google News, you have the promise, untrustable, unverifiable promise that he search everywhere, there is all what exists, and go with it. Uh, and with this tool, I say, this is the list of what we search for, and you know what was not searched for now. Tuk, 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 you can create a source. I will be, we will be back on this later, and we, you can schedule something. When you set up your search like you want, you try it, it works great, you click on the button, and uh, all the settings are saved in a, in a special place in the settings, and you can activate your scheduled search going through the settings to have it daily, weekly, monthly. We withdraw yearly because why? <laughs> <coughs> So if you click on the source list button, you have something popping up <coughs> on the next part of the screen with four tabs. All it's the list of all the sources, and I should have waited a bit more before making my screenshot because some of the icons did not load yet. <coughs> Here it's the source of the 500, uh, the, the list of the 500 sources, and you can search through this list with this small input here. So you can also use the tool just to discover 500 newspapers. And for instance, one of my <clears throat> last addition to the tool was the independent tag, listing something like 146 newspapers with the in-depth tag instead of uh, scientific press. And there are sources uh, with no... Um, not involved in... Uh, 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 the bourse, the, the stock options, the, the, the independent press. Um, uh, not state-owned and not billiardaire-owned. So really interesting source of information. Uh, <clears throat> here, here we are in front of the best part. Uh, I'm here today to... Um, ask you for some help, because I'm working on this tool for years, it works great, but I added English newspapers and French, a lot of French newspapers, but for instance, I can't work on Egyptian one, I know nothing about the Netherlands press, and I would need your expertise of what are your preferred newspapers to add more and more sources to the tool. Please try to DDoS my source list, sending a lot of contribution for new sources. Uh, I'll enjoy working in how to do when there are too much sources. Um, so um, I made a form to help you, something that can be handled by mouse. Just you fill the um, inputs and it detects automatically everything what it can, and at the end, at the end, can we see it? Yeah, there is a save button, and you created the source. So currently, as the title of the screenshot uh, shows, <clears throat> it works only for RSS type sources, but in the coming month, if everything is sorted out with uh, my great sponsor, Analyt, uh, I will upload the rest of the, of, the, of the form. So you put the name, you put the link, I will auto-detect the favicon, the language, the country. Uh, it's in the location part that I closed up just to have everything on screen. Then there is a result path where you put the link of the result page of your source and the text you searched for. And just with this, I will auto-detect if it's a GET form, a POST form, a JSON response, <clears throat> an HTML response. And if it's an RSS response, if RSS is available, it's auto-detected and you automatically will uh, get the open tags part. 
That's what's interesting because you saved uh, the main work. You just have to choose the rich tag to put on the source, and you save it, and you get it recorded in your preferences. <clears throat> and then you go to the preference, click on manage source, and you will get the source code, source JSON object definition of the source. And this is what you can email me or put in an issue on the Git repository, and I will get your source in the next release. That's how it works. Everything can be done by mouse, and I will continue working on it, uh, well, hoping for, uh, to, to have everything automatized. Um, tung, 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 tung. RSS sources, maybe you never seen this in the source, and you said, well, oh, maybe it's not existing. In fact, in fact, uh, a third of all the sources of uh, MetaPress is working like this because uh, the most famous, famous CMS to make websites, which is uh, for newspapers WordPress, uh, it has, it have, it has so this feature activated by default. So in every newspaper relying in WordPress, as journalists don't know how to configure WordPress, they have this activated by default. And I am advertising a lot in France because in France we have another CMS <clears throat> made by uh, newspapers for newspapers, which is called SPIP, S-P-I-P. -P. And they could do this, but it's not activated by default. And I hope it will come because a lot of news French newspapers are using this. And so you have one chance over three to hit something that will pass through the, the form just uh, in, in, in a lightning. Try, and if it's not working, you still can list me the source or update your uh, web extension for the next part when you will have in this uh, part something more. For CSS, for HTML uh, sources, I will just show you uh, what you see is what you mean version of your newspaper with ugly CSS but readable things, and you will click on title, on date, on author, on, on a description, on image, and I will create the CSS selector for you, and you will still be able to do everything by mouth. Okay, that's, uh, that's the promise, and I will deliver this. It's already working. I had an intern working for this, a courageous guy, and, and it's a matter of time before I release this. Here are a view of the settings. When you created your source and hit the Save button, you can go down here and hit the Manage Custom Source, and here you will have the description in an unbearable for normal people uh, source code view, but you copy paste and that's okay. You have a lot of settings, and Elnet uh, required me to <clears throat> add some settings to save bandwidth everywhere it was possible, because there are some far foreign countries with limited monthly bandwidth, such as Belgium, or such as every Fr French um, uh, LTE abon uh, the, 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 the registration. And, and so you can avoid reloading automatically the search when you change something, or avoid loading images, or things like this. I made a lot of things uh, configurable, and the permission buttons are here also, everything in the settings with nice icons. <coughs> I think the icons are not showing up in Tor Browser, but reminder, it works in Tor Browser, it should work in Tor Browser. If it's not working in Tor Browser, hit me, it will. Use Tor Browser more and drink water, and no, no, that's it. <clears throat> so, it's a decentralized architecture. There is no MetaPress server. It's not that I say, trust me, I am private uh, friendly. No, it's a matter of verifiable fact. You can hit uh, the dev tools of your Firefox and just list all the requests made by the web browser, everything by the mouse, and you will see that there are no requests going to the MetaPress server. I'm sure of this. There is no MetaPress server, uh, except the blog. <laughs> and it might, you might willingly send some requests 
with a button in, on the main uh, screen of the results uh, to say this source should have sent results and it didn't. Or the results were completely outside of what I wanted. There is a feedback button cited to the name of the sources that answered your queries, and this is hitting my blog with a long address with, with all your complaints, but it's a, a non-existing page, and I am already checking the non-existing page and the results of my server from time to time. It costs nothing to maintain, uh, and I will get your feedback. And it will be dropped automatically uh, two weeks after because it's the policy, poly, 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 policy of uh, Apache server, web server. Nya, 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 queries can be globally censored <clears throat> as uh, we are hitting 500 sources. Uh, it will be hard to hide a big uh, information from 500 sources in 15 countries. This is the globally uncensorable uh, thing. Um, there is no system downtime. If tomorrow all of you install the, the web extension, it will not make a big difference. But if the 600 seats were occupied and every 600 people were installing 10 times the extension in their different phones and computers and work computers, it would change still nothing. And even if 5 million users decided to use it Tomorrow morning, it will still change nothing because, uh, except the Mozilla servers that will send you the web extension, it's your computer that works. The more people use it, the more resources, existing, already existing resources, will be used to handle the um, queries, to handle the service. Uh, no downtime à la Facebook and no downtime like Signal. Oh, a lot of new people wants to use Signal. There's nobody anymore. It's a centralized thing, and that's sad. Use Briar, even if it's empty the battery. Energy efficient, yes. Uh, my tool is not <laughs> emptying the battery. Energy efficient, why? Because of no data center, no new equipment, and all the gray energy is here. 80% of what costs the computers is making them, not using them. Uh, Tristan Nito uh, from uh, ex uh, Mozilla Europe shift, uh, shift is now explaining this. Uh, what is climate change, what the computers are part of it, and what we should avoid. We should avoid making new computers. It's 80% of the energy. Even if you keep your computer running, up and running 20 years, still nothing. Um, energy efficient. Uh, I am not bypassing the paywalls because you will ask for this at the end of the... <laughs> I am not bypassing the paywalls. My aim is to have live press, healthy press, lots of journalists that can spend your la their life uh, searching for interesting things and giving you interesting information. So I am just fetching the result and telling you it exists. Then it's their business to sell the articles one by one and to survive or to still keep the last, uh, the, the last century way of thinking, like if they were still selling paper and dying with the rest. It's, 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 uh, I try to save them. And I try to save them from Google, which is very hard because they don't want to. We have some cases in France um, telling that uh, in fact, the big newspapers, all they want is Google giving more money. So they want to be dependent from the state, which is giving them money for them not to die, and they want just more money from another dominant actor instead of becoming independent and uh, to, to survive by themselves. For scientists, I say so. So there are a lot of things you can query from MetaPress, and also you can query open science. HEL is a great French uh, universities uh, and state initiative, but Archive and Sci-Hub are really from the free software world. And if you want to query Sci-Hub, what do you need? You need the Tor browser. Don't forget. 
because Sci-Hub, for instance, is censored in French, France. And they have to change uh, to, to play mouse and cat game and change the name regularly. Ah, so how to, to get, um, I have a blinking thing, <laughs> to, how to get the, um, the extension, you hit addons.mozilla.org, you search for MetaPress, you click on the blue button, add to Firefox, it will add an icon on your, oh, you've seen, it works in the Tor browser, you, it will add an icon in your toolbar, if it's not adding this, you did something wrong, or the icon is hidden in the burger icon, you hit the icon and you get the search page, and when you finish your search, you get the results. Results are here. You can filter by source to get only the results of a source. You can click on the cross and get rid of the result from one source if it's polluting all your search. Uh, because sometimes sources change the behavior and I need some more time to change the tags accordingly. And you can go directly to the source clicking the button. You can also search in the text that you really gathered on your page, and you can filter by dates and things like this. Okay, at the beginning it was for la quadrature du net, but I told you this. You can activate a selection mode and select some articles to export only in RSS, JSON, and CSV and it helps you to get a um, press review live. For instance, if uh, your press review is made via WordPress, you hit the selection thing, you export in RSS, you go to WordPress, and you import your RSS in your press review feed. And that's all you need. It saved all the work I was doing at night, and I am happy to do it during the day. There are some limits for this tool. It needs meaningful dates on results to be integrated. So agenda, other type of press, but uh, it won't become a general purpose thing. Uh, I added Wikipedia because there are a, pr a, a, a date on it, but it's not, not so a meaningful date, and so it's currently hard to use, but still it's possible. Uh, can only searched in integrated sources. Uh, it exists a lot of sources that I don't know yet, and I need you to integrate them in, uh, in the um, tool. Uh, we need to present the source to the tool before it's usable. Uh, currently, if you're a, a researcher, you, should, you would, would want to um, uh, be able to dive deep into a subject, and the tool <coughs> is only able to get the, the surface of things. You can only get the 10, 10 or 20 or 30 last articles, what the source provides. You can't have 10 years old things if you have uh, already new things presented before. I don't get the page two of results from the source. Not yet, and it's not planned never. But it's not technically impossible. The search will take maybe 20 seconds to finish, but you have results uh, very quickly. But it's still a meta search engine. I can't avoid this. It never be. It it, it won't be less than two seconds, uh, like it should be for the web thing. You have still to install something on your web browser, uh, and that's a limitation because my mother don't know how to do it. And it exists in the world only four million people knowing how to install the best a web extension of uh, Mozilla uh, Firefox. Uh, there's no email notification, contrary to others, but you have in-browser notifications. It has been funded by the Holland Stiftung at the beginning, uh, and that's because Andy Muller-Megan said to me once, uh, what the free software movement needs is people doing the right thing uh, from the beginning and from the day time, uh, instead of pushing the world in one the right direction for banks in the day and trying to fix their camera during the night. 
Uh, and he said, I have starter coins, so maybe he could say this for you also. He promised a lot, and uh, it, it was not all his decision. But then the NLNet came, and via the NGI Zero thing from the European Commission, everything worked great, and I am in the dream since two years. Um, because I was saying no boss, no client, and still saving the, the world, thanks to the NLNet. Also, thanks to the NL NLNet to just uh, get me discovering this event, because every, uh, even if I knew the home 2013, uh, it took me six months to figure out that this was <laughs> the next uh, round of it. Uh, and it might need you to continue, I would like to still dedicate my life to this project, and if I see uh, what could be my life in 20 or 30 years, and if I look back and see that I have done only this all my remaining life, because I'm 38 old, uh, but still it works and it's used and it was a success, I, not, I am not requiring more. Uh, what comes next? A thousand sources? Come and double the amount? The amount. <coughs> Maybe there are 20,000 sources in the world. Maybe more. And come and challenge me. We will find solutions to handle 20,000 sources. More users? Yes. Why not 4 million? In fact, for users, uh, I will try to adapt the tool to be um, uh, an Android application, because we need this. Uh, because there is no Android user that don't know how to install an application. You, you, nowadays, you can't get through the initialization process of your Android thing without installing, for Samsung, for instance, without installing the calculatrice application. Uh, the, the, the computing application is not delivered by default anymore. You have to create an account on Google. You want to create an account on Samsung, and maybe you finish You've, after a half an hour or more, you finish having your, your desk appearing at last. So every Android user is knowing how to install an app, and 80% of the smartphone users are Android, and there are millions of the world. Uh, there are, in fact, uh, three and a half, I don't know how to say it in, uh, in English, but it's not billion or... or half the population of the Earth, Earth, while uh, for web extension, there are 4 million at most. Most user, for sure, all the platforms. And there will be a web uh, thing, but uh, it exists. It's not public yet. Uh, I don't want to re-centralize the tool, but it exists. It could work. Uh, dynamic source form creation for long ago, since many years, it has been in what comes next, but it's here now. You've seen it. Just use it, please. And report feedback, because uh, <laughs> maybe it needs. <clears throat> and one day, I will need a business plan to survive and <clears throat> to keep things in the right order. Maybe it will be a side project a hosting platform for your press reviews that will be easy to connect to MetaPress, but MetaPress will remain the perfect tool it is as a free software. And the thing will be, <clears throat> I might host your press reviews. You send your results in one click on the sided platform, and hosting costs something, maybe not a big amount, but still you will have public press reviews, private press reviews, access to, uh, to the web version, for instance, and more services around the tool uh, with a monthly small rate thing. Uh, I'll never get the tool bad. Um, what's next? I need you to map all the newspapers of the world because I won't be able to do it myself. Uh, we need marketing competencies <laughs> in the Steam because I'm not so good at it. I, I need information for other events to where to present the tool. And if you have some question, it will be time for it. 
and waiting for the question to come, but uh, questions should come. Thank you. And uh, let's, let's, uh, let's thank you for this talk. <laughs> now, uh, if you have questions, please come to the microphones here. And uh, first, uh, Alvin, is any, uh, none for signal? OK. Um, I, I do have, have one uh, oh. uh, to contribute to this. Um, so just like the, the scientific journal request, which was your, your first request, hmm. have there been other interesting, really active users uh, with very specific uh, targeted subjects that have been sure. interesting for you to see? Sure, sure, sure. Um, there are <clears throat> most French users. Uh, uh, we had on top 800 users a day. This, these are Mozilla's statistics, because I don't compute statistics. I don't care about And the tool is not reporting anything. Um, uh, during French holidays, we are, we are at 500 users a day. <clears throat> there are some famous users in France, La Quadrature du Net, for instance. I am an active user for La Quadrature du Net, but also Alternatiba which is a climate crisis association. I'm sorry you heard about it third, twice, a lot of time every day, but in fact, scientists are all agreed about the fact that the only rational behavior we should have regarding climate change now is to panic, okay? It was yesterday's conference. So, <clears throat> Alternatiba is, uh, reached me and I made some learning session for them to use the tool and they are in a perfect case to use the tool because their name is used anywhere, nowhere else. So Alternatiba results is, is their association for sure. I had also <clears throat> Les Colibri uh, Association which uh, uh, came to me to use the tool but Colibri is the common name of a uh, small bird, and so Colibri, you have a lot of false results uh, in the search. It's a limitation of the tool that I should have written. Uh, I also add Ritimo. R Ritimo, it's a French association making uh, general public adult education about a lot of things, but uh, also about uh, ecology. And they should soon establish a public statement to ask to be one of the sources because they produce content online. So they already are one of the sources, but they will ask publicly to be one because what needs the project now, that it works, that it's great, it's uh, to be known. So just shout everywhere that it exists, that a viable alternative to Google News is here, um, and that everyone should know about. Thank you very much. Now, is your question uh, fairly short and clear? Because I would like to get it in there, yeah. Hopefully. Great, thank, uh, thank you. you. Thank you for the talk and, uh, and the awesome tool. Uh, I'm wondering, I'm hosting my own uh, RSS uh, reader online. Fet, uh, Fresh RSS is a Google reader clone. It would be awesome to integrate it in, in that way, to get a dynamic feed. So uh, is that anything you're considering? You produce a dynamic feed online? No, I, I have my own uh, RSS reader, like Google reader. Once yes. I, I self-hosted version, and I would love to see uh, uh, that I could create a feed that automatically updates in that reader. So not locally in my browser, but uh, uh, f uh, Fresh RSS, for example, also supports extensions. You want, to read, f you want to read from, f f you want to read things from MetaPress in your RSS, RSS reader. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's not possible at all because uh, MetaPress is not publishing anything online. No, no I understand, but f uh, Fresh RSS for example, supports extensions. So if you ah. could create an extension for Fresh RSS, it would be possible to locally generate that feed with your... Well, why, why don't you two continue yeah. to talk about this possible integration off to the side. Uh, please continue to chat with him uh, off to the side of the tent. And let's, let's give another round of, uh, of applause to our speaker.